Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys had a great week. So for this week's art video, I'm going to be drawing an original illustration of a mermaid. It's just a quick little thing as a stress reliever that I did a while ago. Um, I'm going to be using my tone tan sketchbook. I don't actually use it as a sketchbook, but that's what it's called. <laughs> I tend to rip my pages out and um, I don't know, a lot of people don't seem to do that, but I like to have my drawings on my sleeve paper. Anyone else? Anyone else like that? Just let me know. That'd be cool. Maybe I'm not the only one. Um, but yeah, I'm using my ton tan paper, um, HB pencil for now, and then I will be inking the drawing with dip pen and ink, and then I do a little bit of coloring with Copic marker and color pencil and white ink. So first I'm starting by doing the sketching and then I will be doing the inking afterwards. During the sketching I had a little bit of trouble getting the one arm to look right. I tried to figure it out myself on the paper but in the end I just stood up and I posed myself in the same way to see how the arm should bend which helped a lot and that's how I troubleshooted that issue. I did this originally on a Monday when I was wanting to get a really good start to my week. Um, so I did a mermaid because a lot of the other artists I follow tend to do a hashtag mermaid Monday. So I wanted to join in on that. I definitely do remember that the sketching and inking was just for fun and I wasn't stressing myself out, which was great. I didn't really plan to do much else. I think I had planned to do a little bit more highlight and pencil, but I never got around to it. So when I revisited this drawing to finish it, I decided I wanted to experiment with Copic markers and tan paper, which I've seen other artists do on like Instagram, and I really think it looks nice. Um, to prepare for that, what I did was I took another piece of paper from the sketchbook and I did a chart of all my Copics to see how the Copics um, react with this paper and how they look on this paper. It's really good to make a color chart for your Copic markers when you're using a new paper. It can tell you a lot. Sometimes the differences between this paper and another paper you've used where you've already done a chart is very small, but sometimes it's bigger than you would expect. It kind of takes the mystery out of what's going to happen, so it's much easier to plan for like how the color is going to lay. You can also kind of troubleshoot in advance how you need to layer. Like when I did a chart for the Copic marker pad, I discovered that the colors are super bright and it's super nice, but you just can't layer with that paper. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really good practice to do. It's just a bit tedious, but you only have to do it once per paper. So I think it's definitely worth it in the long run. I really wasn't sure what way to go when I went to color this, so I took a piece of toned paper that I bought from Daiso and the, like a really cheap sketchbook from there. Um, it was almost the same colors as the chart I had made, so I did some color studies on that paper to see what I wanted to use for this drawing. I really liked how the mermaid in the ink looked a bit gothic and creepy. And I wanted to keep that feel. I didn't want to mess it up with color, especially since some of the colors that I'd already pulled out to use were like really light pastel colors. Um, and that would kind of ruin the mood of the overall drawing. So I did some color studies and I found that like the browns and the grays weren't quite right. The greens were way too green. So the number one color I ended up using the most was BB00, which is blue violet. And I think it worked really, really nicely. Um, it still kept the kind of creepy vibe I was going for and the kind of gothic vibe I was going for, so I was really happy with that. When I did the inking for this drawing, I had really only intended to just ink and maybe use color pencil, I believe. 
So I didn't think ahead, and I wasn't really thinking about that at all when I went to color it. I, it had been so long since I did the inking that I didn't really think about it. Um, but it turns out I had inked it with dip pen, which means my ink was not Copic proof. So it did smear quite a bit. Luckily though, I think because of the paper and also the color I was using, it looked okay and you couldn't really tell too much that there was smearing. And it also helped that I wasn't using like full color, like I wasn't going to color every single tiny thing in the drawing, especially the skin, I was just doing the shadows. So it worked out well. I just had to be careful and I had to keep cleaning the nibs of my markers. Um, I really hope I didn't do any permanent damage by having like ink soak into the marker tip, but it should be fine. They seem to work okay. I mostly use very, very light colors, like zero, zero colors. Oh, and at this point I had a big problem where all of a sudden my marker tip just popped right off for no reason. Um, I don't know if I had like rubbed on it a little too hard into the tissue to get rid of the ink or what. I've only ever had the marker tip break once. So it was just weird. It was just something that happened that was really weird. I have extra marker tips so I can change it and I actually did just shove it back on there and continue on and it was fine. But that was something that happened that was really weird. Breaking down A little rendezvous at the end My friend and light The darkness left behind adding highlights with a white color pencil and later I'll be adding a bit more with a white gel pen. The best part of this paper is how the color pencil looks so opaque and the white just shines on this paper. I love that part. Before I end this video I just wanted to let you guys know that we hit a very important and my very first milestone for YouTube which is 100 subscribers. I am so excited that 100 people want to see my artwork. So thank you guys so, so much for having subscribed and thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. It really drives me to do more art and more videos and I'm just, I'm just so lucky that you guys subscribed to me. So thank you so much. So if you like this video or you like my artwork, please do let me know by leaving a comment below or giving this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post weekly art videos every Friday. If you want to see this drawing up close, check out my DeviantArt, the link is below where I post scans of each drawing that I do. Um, if you want to see other artworks like work in progress, you can check out my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!